<clears throat> hey guys, so as you can see, I have my eye makeup over here done. And this side, I actually removed this side because, and the reason being is because today when I did my eye makeup originally, I used press shadows. I didn't use a palette, I used my press shadows from my buildable palette, which is not the same thing, I promise you. But yeah, so I used, so I used this shade on my lid, and then this color mixed with this one in the crease. And I want to kind of see if I can recreate this a little bit using palette 4. I want to see if I can redo it using palette 4. So this will be like the ultimate test. So you'll see kind of what I was going for over here. And then we'll be able to compare the two and you can tell me, you know, yay or nay. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really excited to do this, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna grab my eye primer because who doesn't love eye primer? It's fun. Uh, get my mirror and just dab it on. See if I can recreate it to match the other eye or at least be identical. <laughs> The reason I say recreate, again, for anybody who is just hopping onto the live, I used pressed shadows instead of my Addiction palette. So I'm going to see how close I can get it using the Addiction palette. Yes. It's going to be the thing. Okay, so normally I use Timid for the base, and on this, Tender is actually fairly identical, I think, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and get tender onto the sponge side of my brush. Get my mirror here. And then I'm just going to dab it into the primer to help set it. So far, so far I think tender is Fairly identical to Timid. Okay, and then check it with my finger, make sure it's all... Yep, okay. I'm gonna take my, ah, my blending brush real quick. Just kinda... Swipe off any excess that was there. Yeah, okay, that's feeling good. Perfect! Okay, so now I need... Get my crease brush here. Okay, so this might be a little tricky because Arrogant is actually a little is actually about the same shade as the second shade of brown that I used. But like I said, we're going to attempt this. I'm going to use very little of Arrogant to try and get it close to the original shade. I'm going to go into the crease. You're going to see how well I do with this. And we're just going to keep blending it until it's like completely blended out. Keeping it angled upward because it helps get it more precisely into the crease. I mean, so far... It's not too terribly bad. It doesn't have like the same shade to it really. All right, I'm gonna see maybe adding secretive, which is kind of golden. See if maybe that will help give it the shade that I'm looking for. I mean, if nothing else, it'll make it shimmery, right? <laughs> okay, so next, I'm going to go with Brave, and for Brave I did, or for the darker brown anyway, what I did, I'm going to show you what I did. So what I initially did is I went like this, like created a line with it on the outside here, like that, and then I just kind of worked it over a little bit. Just in the crease, though. 
just in the crease. Take my crease brush here and just do like a circular motion here on the outside to help blend down that dark brown. And then kind of work it in with the rest of my crease color here. Okay. I'm gonna take my blending brush and actually get just a little bit of tender on there. And I'm gonna use that to blend it all down. Okay, so, not quite done, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna mix Brave with a little bit of Tender here. I'm going to work it into the corner here, just on the sides, just to kind of deepen the outside. And then kind of blend it towards the crease a bit. Okay, and then I think actually originally I did go a little above the crease, which is what this angle right here is for, to go above your crease. So people with hooded eyes, this way, to go above your crease. If you have hooded eyes, going above your crease is actually kind of perfect because it makes your eyelids look a bit more, um, well, makes them appear less hooded than they actually are. Okay, and then we're just going to blend everything down. Okay. So that is that. It is not 100% identical at all. <laughs> but I guess, I mean, you can tell me which one that you prefer. The more light to medium browns or do you prefer the medium to dark browns really i mean it's all based on personal preference i mean everything i did over here i did over here so i mean i got it fairly close this side is just a little bit darker than the other side but you know it's fun right actually i want to make this side just a little bit more shimmery so i'm going to take my blending brush with secretive and we're going to make that shimmer. Yes. I'm so weird. I'm no longer doing what I set out to do, but I don't care. Alright. Now I'm I'm done. I promise. I promise I am done. So now you guys can vote and let me know which one that you prefer, the darker side or the lighter side. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, talk amongst yourself. Ha! Huh? Just kidding. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you guys later. I love you. Bye.